Hello students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. I am Tony Francis, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Don Bosco College, Kottayam. So in this semester, I will be dealing with the subject Methodology and Perspectives of Business Education. So what do you mean by Methodology and Perspectives of Business Education? So for better understanding of the subject, we can divide the subject's name into three. That is Methodology, Perspectives and Business Education. So first of all, what do you mean by Methodology? It is a system of methods used in a particular area of study or activity. So the word methodology means system of methods used in a particular area of study or activity. So for the purpose of in-depth studying of a particular area or for the purpose of doing a particular activity, we may use different set of methods. So these set or system of methods are termed as methodology. So simple terms ilu parayanangil, edangilum uru particular area kurchu padikyan anangilu, alangil uru particular activity cheyanayittu ubayogikkina uru set alangil system of methods ne aanu methodology ennu parayunnathu. So ee system of methods ennu parayunnathu paladinum paladayirikkum it depends upon the area of study. Next is perspectives. It means the point of view or particular attitude towards something. So perspective means the point of view, the way the people see them something or it can be termed as the particular attitude towards something. So the perspectives towards something will be different for different people. So perspective in the basic meaning in the way of the car chapad and nana. Uri vekti uri incident in a car and the reedi. Alangil uri sambhavthi no dola dehath in the perimata the animal. കാഴ്ചപ്പാട് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പേഴ്സ്പെക്റ്റീവ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ ഇപ്പോൾ പത്ത് പേരുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഒരു കാര്യത്തോടുള്ള അവരുടെ പേഴ്സ്പെക്റ്റീവ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് പത്ത് പേർക്കും പത്ത് രീതിയിലായിരിക്കും സോ ദ പേഴ്സ്പെക്റ്റീവ് ടുവേർഡ് സംതിങ് വിൽ നോട്ട് ബി ദ സെയിം ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ടോട്ടലി ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് പീപ്പിൾ സോ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടേം ഇസ് ബിസിനസ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇൻവോൾവ്സ് ടീച്ചിങ് ദ സ്കിൽസ് ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ ബിസിനസ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി So business industry കുറിച്ചുള്ള അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ള പലതരത്തിലുള്ള സ്കിൽസും ഓപ്പറേഷൻസും ഉള്ള പഠിക്കുന്ന ഒരു മേഖലയാണ് നമ്മൾ ബിസിനസ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ടോട്ടലി എ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഡീൽസ് വിത്ത് ദ വേരിയസ് സ്കിൽസ് ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ ബിസിനസ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി സോ ഹോ പോള ക്ലേ വിത്ത് ദീസ് ത്രീ ടേംസ് സോ വെൻ വി കമ്പൈൻ ദീസ് ത്രീ ടേംസ് ടുഗെദർ വി ഗെറ്റ് ആ സബ്ജെക്ട് മെത്തഡോളജി ആൻഡ് പെർസ്പെക്റ്റീവ്സ് ഓഫ് ബിസിനസ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ So what I meant to say is that our subject deals with the various system of methods and the different perspective towards business education. So hope all are now having a basic idea regarding the subject. So the next question is why is this subject introduced in the first semester itself? So let's look into the various objectives for introducing this subject in this semester. The first one is to create a basic awareness about the business environment and the role of business in economic development. So a BCom student should be fully aware about the various business environment and the role of business in economic development of the country. So the first main objective of introducing this subject is to create that awareness among the students. The next objective is to provide a holistic, comprehensive and integrated perspective to business education. So we have already discussed what is business education. It is completely a different branch of education that deals with the skills and operations of business industry. So the second main objective is to provide a in-depth, wide and detailed understanding towards the business education. And the last objective is to give a fundamental understanding about the ethical practices in business. So the ethical practices means the good way or the lawful way in which a business should be conducted. So the third main objective is to give a fundamental understanding regarding the various ethical and lawful practices to be done while conducting a business. So by learning this subject, you will get a better knowledge. and in-depth understanding about the various business activities as well as in the field of business education. So next we will look into the syllabus of the subject as prescribed by the University of Kerala. So as per the syllabus, we have five main modules in this subject. Modules means chapters. So we have mainly five chapters in this subject. So coming to the first module, the first module deals with business information, its meaning, learning business information, 
methods and technique of collecting and learning business information economic systems its meaning their functioning the different economic systems such as capitalism socialism communism and mixed economy the different forms of business organization individual and organized family and corporate etc business entities such as individuals partnerships cooperatives undivided families joint ventures and mncs so the first module mainly deals with business information economic systems and the various business organizations and entities coming to the second module it deals with the various economic sectors of the economy that is the primary sector secondary sector and the tertiary sector and the emerging areas in service sector that is tourism it healthcare knowledge process outsourcing business process outsourcing even management etc and coming to the third module it deals with business objectives economic social establishing the business the various step involved in establishing business the environmental analysis idea generation mobilization of financial resources savings loans and advances the role of entrepreneur payment to government taxes direct and indirect tax economic development it meaning measures of economic development role of business in economic development new economic policy liberalization privatization and globalization its merits and demerits features infrastructure for industrialization and economic growth of an economy so the third module mainly deals with the various business objectives the role of entrepreneur the concept of economic development and the new economic policy coming to the fourth module it deals with the trained manpower of equity enhancement that is the role of trained manpower for quality at individual level family level organizational level and national level human capital management it concepts importance benefits etc and quality of work life problems in small medium and large organization use of technology in business and the second part of the fourth module deals with business ethics its concept need and importance which also includes social ethics social responsibility and social service role of ncc and nss in promoting social values among students so the fourth module mainly deals with trained manpower of equity enhancement human capital management quality of work life and business ethics and the last and the fifth module deals with the various individual and team presentations that is individual and team presentation by observation reading techniques listening to lectures note taking seminars and workshop conferences and symposiums field studies case studies and project reports so these are the five main modules that we will be dealing in this subject so we can say that this subject is basically an extension of the business studies that you have learned in the plus 2 level so although the module seems to be little bit lengthier the various topics and the content involved in it is very simple okay so the main aim of this session was to give a better understanding regarding the subject the purpose of learning the subject and to introduce the syllabus of the subject hope the session was clear and useful to you thank you thanks for watching